A Boeing 787 burns over 5,000 liters of jet fuel per hour during cruise, but what if we tried to match that energy with solar panels instead? I'm an aerospace engineer, and jet fuel stores around 35 megajoules per liter, so 5,000 liters gives you roughly 48,600 kilowatt hours of chemical energy. But the engines are, let's say, 35% efficient. That means the aircraft is actually converting around 17,000 kilowatt hours into propelling thrust. Now, electric motors are more efficient, say 90%, so we need to generate about 18,900 kilowatt hours hours from solar just to match that same energy. At cruising altitude, the amount of solar energy received is about 1000 watts per square meter, but factoring in a 20% panel efficiency, you're left with about 200 watts per square meter of usable power. That means you'd need 94,500 square meters of solar panels. For the Americans, that's about 17 football fields and 250 times the wing area of a 787. Structurally, this is impossible with current materials and given modern solar panels weigh around 15 kilograms per square meter, you'd be adding nearly 1500 tons to a jet with a maximum takeoff weight under 255 tons. And that's before accounting for sunlight variations, takeoff, and a million other design details.